got the products that we will be using for this wash. We got this Chemical Guys V07 High Gloss Car Wash, car soap. And we got this Foam Cannon, which is from, I think I just got it on Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, I think it's only like 15 or 20 bucks and it comes with um, the nozzle and then um, also different attachments for your power washer, so super easy and very convenient. Um, for the buckets, um, I'll be using um, two bucket method for washing the car and I have a separate bucket for the wheels uh, just because I don't want to get that debris on the wheels uh, or from the wheels on the car. Um, but yeah, simple as that. And also, today we will be using this power washer from Giraffe Tools. Um, really liking this product as we can, we have this retractable hose here um, and I think it goes up to 100 feet um, that we can retract with this. Makes it very easy to store. Um, you don't have to worry about all the um, hoses laying around while you wash the car. And, um, but yeah, without further ado, we'll get down to rinsing the car down. I'll just power wash it down. I'm um, going to make it fairly easy. And um, then, so we just have basically um, all the debris off the car um, that we could potentially um, scratch the car with. So let's go ahead and do that first. Then we're going to start with the wheels. Um, right after the wheels, um, I'm just going to um, wash the overall car. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with the wheels. So in case you guys are wondering, this is what the Giraffe Tools um, power washer comes with. You have different um, attachments, different degrees for the nozzles. I usually use the orange one. It's a 15 degree. Um, gives me the best results really from um, getting the pressure on the car without taking the whole paint off, but um, just having enough power to really wash down the car. So first I like to do the wheels. Um, I like to power wash them down and just get all that dirt and grime off that we see here, mostly from uh, the brake dust since these cars really have huge brakes as you can tell. So let's get ahead and start it. start with the wheels uh, as they usually are the dirtiest part on the car so next I like to spray the wheels um, today we're using a product from WeatherTech uh, tech care acid-free wheel cleaner I like this one so far um, I have a few different ones but um, yeah it, they all work um, I really like this so far the nozzle of the spray well is really easy and you can get it on really quick sprays like that and you want to do that on all four of course and then um, we get to the next step so I like to use a little stool like this just to make it a little bit more comfortable so you can store something down here and the next step that I do is I have a little yeah scrubber here um, to get that product worked in so we can just go ahead and start working that product in. Spread it a little bit more over the wheel. If you have the feeling you don't have enough product, you can go ahead and just spray a little bit of product in that little brush here. But usually works pretty fine, just like this. So I just want to mention these wheels make it so easy to clean them. Um, I do have them ceramic coated, so that really helps with cleaning them too. But also with these huge openings and this offset that we have on these wheels, it makes it really, really easy. So I can highly recommend getting aftermarket wheels for these cars. And yeah, it just 
makes them look so much better and also makes it a lot easier to clean. All right, now that we're done with scrubbing these wheels down, you can go ahead and just use the power washer again, just wash them down and get all that product off and then we can get to the body. down the car now and uh, it's already a lot cleaner than before wheels are looking really really good um, and now we're just gonna go ahead and get that product on the car um, what we're gonna use as I explained it's gonna be this nozzle that we just snap on the giraffe tools power washer and then can get go ahead and get started right, and it's definitely one of the most enjoyable parts on <laughs> the only time you will see snow in Alabama um, but yeah we're just gonna let this sit a little bit have that product work itself in a little bit and then we're just gonna go ahead and use our sponge our wash mitten to get this cleaned off want to go in clear strikes so you just go over one panel at a time not in circular motion you don't want to get any scratches in your vehicle just wash it off like this and then this is where the second bucket comes into play you'll dump it in the second bucket get all that dirt off and then use the first one again with the clear water um, in terms of not getting any scratches in. That's the um, best bet you can do. Um, that's why we use two buckets. We're done with wiping the whole car down with the wash mitten. And we can see it's already pretty clean. Now we just have to rinse all that product back off and, and then get to drying the car. Clean now. Now the last step is just drying the car, which I use a leaf blower for. Um, this one's rated at 650 CM, CFM and um, you really need a very powerful um, blower for this um, otherwise you will not get the water off also it helps a lot again to have a full ceramic coat um, makes it so much easier so I can only recommend you guys uh, to get a ceramic coating you can see how the water is already peeling off um, but with this it's gonna make it so much easier so I'm just going to use this blower, blow all the water off and then we're going to touch up with a drying towel just to get the last drops of water off and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. As you guys can see, the car is really, really clean now. 
at those wheels looking so good there's still some water left but it's really gonna just dry off and this was really just my quick wash routine and um, next video I think I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get it uh, just car meet or show ready um, just to do some touch-ups on especially I have a lot of times the water just run down here um, I like to use uh, some product to just wipe that off before a car meet or a car show and yeah of course I'm gonna put some tire shine on I'm gonna get the but clean. I think in general the car looks really really clean and um, but yeah let me know what you guys think uh, of this washing routine let me know if this helped you if you like these kind of videos and um, yeah I'll try to keep posting um, a lot more in the future uh, I'm gonna take you to some car shows car meets and um, yeah just give you an idea of how it is owning one of these beasts and yeah thank you for tuning in and um, I hope you have a wonderful day man stay loud